Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 12 and a quarter inch self-adjusting electric trailer brake kit with the left hand and right hand brake assemblies for 9,000 pound to 10,000 pound general duty axles. Now electric brakes, they're easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they require only an electric brake controller, which we do sell separately on our website. There's no actuator hydraulic lines necessary with electric brakes. Now these are self-adjusting brakes. You can tell that by the cable that you see runs around the pulley attaches to the lever down here that it will automatically adjust your brakes. Now self-adjusting brakes automatically adjust and they deliver optimum performance and braking power so there's no need for any manual brake adjustments and because they're automatically adjusted the proper adjustment will lead to better brake efficiency and less wear on your tow vehicle's brakes. Also if you notice on these they do use a cast backing plate now. Now this part number does include both the left hand driver side assembly and the right hand passenger side brake assemblies. Now the mounting hardware to install these is sold separately. A few specs on this, the dimension on these assemblies is 12 and a quarter inch diameter by 3 and 3 eighths inches wide and where that's measured the diameter would be measured from this brake shoe all the way over to this brake shoe. So if we put a ruler on that there's your 12 and a quarter inch diameter. The width would be the width of the pad on the shoe. So if we put a ruler on that there's your 3 and 3 eighths inch wide. And this does require a brake mounting flange bolt pattern of seven bolt holes. You can see there's the seven holes to install it. Now these assemblies do require the use of 12 and a quarter inch brake drums. The wheel size that will fit on these is 15 inches or larger. And again the axles these are designed to fit on are 9,000 pound to 10,000 pound general duty axles. Now these are electric brakes. So if you notice they do have two wires in the back, two yellow wires. So they do need to be connected. One goes to a brake feed, the other goes to a good clean ground, and they're both yellow wires, so either wire can be used for either function. And then the last thing I just want to show you is how to tell the difference between your left-hand driver's side assembly and right-hand passenger side assembly. Now, of course, on a new assembly, they'll have stickers on them that'll tell you the difference, but if the sticker wasn't there, the easiest way to tell is just look at the length of the pad on the brake shoe. This pad goes all the way from here to here. This is from here just to here. So this is the shorter shoe. The shorter shoe will always face the front of the trailer. It's the primary shoe. So that tells you that this is the left-hand driver's side assembly. And on this other one, you can look, here's the pad from here to here. On this shoe, it's just from here to here. This is the shorter shoe, so that's the primary shoe. That means this is the right-hand driver's, or right-hand passenger side assembly. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 12 and a quarter inch self-adjusting electric trailer brake kit with left hand and right hand brake assemblies for 9,000 to 10,000 pound general duty axles. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.